spent a lot of time today talking about this topic. Michael Silver, Yahoo Sports, spoke with Warren Moon. And the headline, Hall of Famer says criticism of Cam Newton, valid but believes race is a factor. I just want to, I wanted to clear up, because sometimes we just had John Lynch on, and John's going, you know what, uh, if you're going to compare Vince Young and Cam Newton, then that's, you know, stupid, that's idiotic. But that's not what Don Banks is doing. He's saying their career arc right now, you can make a comparison. In their last year of college, their second year in the pro, I think that's all Don is doing. I would not compare Cam Newton and Vince Young. But I, I want to be at least fair because we take things out of context and then we let them serve our purpose. So I wanted to have Warren Moon on because Warren, and I said, if you're over the age of 40 and you're African-American, you know what blacks have gone through to play the position of quarterback. And Warren went through this. He had to go to CFL five years there and then came back, I think, at age 28 and became a Hall of Fame quarterback. So I understand his sensitivity level, but I don't know how race is playing a role in the criticism of Cam Newton. So I wanted to have Warren on, kind enough to join us. Warren, good to, good to talk to you again. How are you, Dan? Nice to talk to you. Uh, help me out here. How is, uh, how is race playing a factor, a role in this? What am I missing? Well, what is it that I've supposedly said? That's, first of all, what I want to know. Uh, you know I talked to uh, Michael Silver about a lot of different things. I, we talked about uh, where I felt racism was involved when Cam was coming out of college. Um, whether that's the, the fact right now, I'm really not sure. I think it's more of a stereotype that I just get tired of hearing, just like every time uh, an African-American quarterback either does well or does bad, he's compared to another African-American quarterback, never a, another quarterback, just a quarterback, you know, and, and that's, that's part of the problem. I hate. We're all lumped into one basket, and uh, that's how we're compared. We're either compared to failures or we're compared to guys who are doing well. You look at RG3 right now. He's, a, he's an exception right now because he's playing so well, people are starting to compare him to Steve Young. I guarantee you, if he starts playing badly, <laughs> They'll start comparing him to Michael Vick or somebody like that. There's just a guy that runs around and, and can't make plays. And those are the types of things that, that really bother me about what's out there in the media and all these so-called expert analysts. I'm not talking about people in football. I think people in football know the weaknesses of all these guys who are out there, whether they can play or not. That's why they're all high first-round draft picks or first overall draft picks because people in football know that they can play regardless of what their color is. But it's outside of that that I have a problem with sometimes of a lot of the comments that I hear. And those comments have those overtones to them to me or those, that stereotyping to, to them to me. Yeah, and I understand. The thing with Cam is when you play the position and we hold that position in high regard, if you play well, we applaud you. And everybody applauded him his rookie year. Even people had to admit they did not know he would be this good. Um, his This year, you know, he's he's done okay on the field. I think people thought his team would be better. My problem is act like a leader at the you know at the post game press conferences. That's the, that's my big concern with him. Act like a leader. Don't call people out. Uh, you know, go in there, get out, and then if you got something to say, say it to your teammates, say it to your coach. That's what leaders do. This had nothing to do with race. With my criticism of Cam, it's about being a leader and being mature when you after a loss. That's all. I have the same criticism. I have the same criticism towards him myself as far as how he's handling losing. He is not handling losing very well. He's a guy that hasn't lost a lot in his athletic life. Uh, he lost last year more than he wanted to. This season is not off to a great start for them. They've been in every football game except for one and had a chance to win You know, three of those losses that they have right now, and they didn't find a way to win those football games. But you as a quarterback, when you go up to that podium, you have to have a very, uh, uh, you know, stoic look to yourself that everything is going to be okay, that we have optimism, that everything is going to get turned around, and he hasn't been showing that. And that's a maturity thing that he's going to have to get over, and he's going to have to change that demeanor because everybody's looking at him for – for uh, the future of the franchise, whether it's next week or next year. So he, he that's something he has to understand. But as far as his play, if you look at his numbers, his numbers aren't that much different from last year as far as his percentages, his touchdown uh, interception ratio, yeah, all of that. I agree. He's still putting up numbers, but 
you know, he didn't give up a 99-yard drive against the Atlanta Falcons <laughs> to lose that football game with a minute minute left, but he takes blame for that, and that's what you do as a quarterback, no question about it. You have to take you have to take all of that. So I don't see where all of a sudden Cam Newton can't play in the NFL anymore where there's people out there trying to say that, that he's on the way down. No, I, you I know what? I just don't understand that. I, I, I really don't understand that. Well, I'd like to know who's, at, who's saying he can't play because I think it's the maturity process of having an unbelievable rookie season and the bar was raised. So we expect that RG3 is going to go through it next year. Andrew Luck's going right. to go through it. Andrew Dal- uh, Andy Dalton is going through it this year. Andy Dalton's going through it right now. Yes. Right? You're, you're, you're on top of all this, but there's a lot of other people out there that aren't. And that's what I'm, and that's what I'm uh, uh, commenting off of, all the other little things that I'm hearing from people. It's just like, oh, he's going to be another Vince Young and all these different things that I'm hearing out there because the guy's off to a slow start. Juan loss-wise this year, not so much playing-wise, Juan loss-wise. There are some things I think they should do differently with him offensively. They need to get back to doing what they were doing last year with him and not so much of this read-keep option type stuff, which allows those two running backs to get more involved. They're not a very balanced football team right now offensively, but this has, doesn't have a whole lot to do with his athletic ability. Like you said, with me, my biggest criticism of Cam right now is he needs to handle losing a little bit better. But we don't always handle losing great, but he needs to handle be- handle it better than he's handling it right now, especially as a quarterback. He's Warren Moon, the Hall of Famer, joining us, Dan Patrick Show. But when it comes to criticism, you know, Cam should look at Jay Cutler and go, yeah, it could be worse because Jay gets killed. He gets criticized more than any other quarterback. And he's got a team that might be one of the elite teams in the NFC. No matter what he does, and look, there's a track record there. But we criticize. I, I don't know. I thought we had gotten to the point where we can criticize quarterbacks that we don't look at it as you're going out of your way to criticize somebody uh, because they're black. Because, you know, we pile on Jay Cutler. Uh, we pile on Phillip Rivers. Uh, so it's not just Cam but, Newton. But you pile, on, you pile on Jay Cutler for mouthing off, for pushing his offensive linemen, for... Uh, looking like he doesn't care on the sidelines for uh, yelling and screaming. That's what you mouth off at him about. You don't mouth off about his, his uh, football ability. Well, yeah, he hadn't won a big game. You know, he didn't getting, do anything. They're, getting, they're, getting, they're, getting, they're, getting, they're t- saying Cam's pretty much done now. No, he's, he's not down. done. You know what? You know, This is what I look I at, Warren. Not done. Warren. I know he's not done. Warren. You know he's not done. I know, but, but Warren. There's people out there that are trying to say that he's done. He's, he can't play. He was a mistake. No, he's not a mistake. Here's the thing. I value. I know he's not a mistake, Dan. So do you. But here's the thing, Warren. I It's who who is giving me this opinion and how much I value it. Because you said this. You had a topic. I respect you and your journey. That's why I had you on. If it's somebody that I don't respect, they say something about Cam Newton can't play. I don't. I factor that in, and I go, I don't. I don't care about that. Those are the people who didn't know that he could play. Those are the people who didn't watch Robert Griffin the third in college and say he can throw the ball downfield. He is a quarterback, not just an athletic guy playing the position. I just factor in who says it, and then I put value to it, uh, and then move on. Well, when I talked with Michael Silver, he just asked me about what's going on with Cam, and I told him different things that I thought needed to change in his game and also change in his demeanor. Just what just what you and I have been talking about. We also talked about Russell Wilson and things that he needs to improve on and where he needs to uh, work on his game and, and things that he's done well. So I don't know exactly what Michael wrote. I haven't <laughs> seen the story, but uh, I, I, I guess – it, it must be pretty bad if if uh, everybody's wanting to talk to me no, about No, it's this. not. You know what it is? Racism was not a big part of what we talked about, I guarantee you. And, and it definitely shouldn't have been a headline. Yeah, that's the headline. But I think what you're... Look, uh, read the article. I, you know, Make sure you read it just so you understand. But that's the headline. And, you know, is it fair? And what was the, and what was the headline again? Hall of Famer says criticism of Cam Newton valid, but believes race is a factor. But what is the fact? You say that again. The last part uh, about Hold race, uh, but believes race is a factor. A factor? No. See, like I said, it was more stereotyping to me that I didn't like. I didn't like that we were all being compared to one another. 
That, and look, that, I agree with you. And I look, and I said that to people. Understand where Warren is coming from because he's coming from a place of knowledge, firsthand knowledge here. And you know what? We do categorize, we do label, and I think that's what he's concerned about. Look, uh, next time you're on, let's just talk football. No drama. We'll talk quarter. <laughs> we'll talk uh, quarterbacks. You know, whatever you want to talk about. There's always drama in the NFL. That's what that's what makes our job so interesting. Hey, I appreciate you calling, and I well, thanks a lot. I'll, I'll have you on again. Hi, right, buddy. Thank you. It's a Warren Moon Hall of Famer.